How you doing guys? I just want to reiterate on a couple of videos I posted from YouTube earlier. You know, um, as far as science goes, I was always really interested in the micro field of sciences and um, I love the microscope work, I love micro photography and uh, once I ran into more gallons it gave me true purpose into something I really love. Um, you know, the importance of microbiology and understanding this stuff in the Morgellons condition is really important because I know I've in bits and pieces tried to explain that, you know, I mean, even though Morgellons I, I consider to be more than just physicality, there is definite physicality to it. Uh, and these, the physicality that we're talking about here are all the different, like, side factions, the side effects of the condition itself. I just want to reiterate on the microbiology and um, you know how that applies here. Uh, so when we look at, and I just want to note too that I want to throw in a note here from the conference I was just in with Candy Griffin Vanderwalker because it was really interesting. Uh, she did a review on Howard Kotz Vela's uh, work, and um, in his work it was mentioned that. Um, you know, you could have two different things that roll into one. Like you could have the fungal and the insects, and you could have the fungal and the parasites and so forth. Even fungal and then bacteria or, you know, a combination of things that can be rolled into one kind of like enchilada. You know what I mean? And I really see that as evidently true under the scope because um, one thing that I have found uh, in this condition is that it is very heavily fungal oriented and why would that be uh, well fungus and fungi in general are extremely versatile extremely versatile um, you know when we look at the traits of fungi and fungus uh, we can see that the replication factor is really high like it can really replicate the things that it feeds on so that is quite interesting um, in the way that you know, can it produce threads that are abnormal to fungi? I think, yeah. I think absolutely. Like, there's evidence I have, and pictorial evidence, uh, in my hexagon study that was year-long that showed that, you know, these hexagons do grow threads, and, uh, you know, I can prove all that. But there's a variety of threads. You know, we get these people that say that, um, you know, uh, in the medical field, like the Charles E. Holman Foundation, that this is uh, keratin collagen um, responses in the skin for some threads. And you know what, to that degree, there's some truth to that. But that could be, I, I mean, there's more than one kind of thread here. I mean, I've got uh, actual photographic evidence of quite a few different threads, uh, different kinds of threads. So, but this particular thread, and if we're gonna look at fungi, and if we're gonna wrap it up you know, knowing that it's got a replication, um, and you got to realize too that when you look at those videos I, I posted on the microbiology, when you look at microfungi, you're going to see that it really utilizes the keratin within the skin. Okay, and uh, you know if it's going to utilize the keratin in the skin, then the collagen could be a response to that as well, and then we have heavy metal toxicity which can actually add to the color of fiber. So it's a mysterious thing. It's not well studied yet. Um, it does make scientific sense. There's still other things that really need to be further uh, studied that don't make a whole lot of scientific sense, but I think little by little we're going to get there. And another thing is the purpose of this is to like really show how the immune system is responsible for a lot of these side effects. Like we all know that the Morgellons condition itself is kind of autoimmune in a way, and it really reduces the immune system down. I've written this over and over again. It's so true. Uh, the people that attacks are the older people, uh, the people that have um, additional diseases that lower the immune system. Sorry about the sun there. And um, if you look at COVID-19, the it's even the same. The older people, the people that have other conditions, it seems to be a factor here that the immune system is really uh, getting attacked somehow in our 
uh, geographical atmosphere. You know, like some people got it worse than others. You'll notice that there's certain areas of the United States that are worse than other areas. Um, and we can probably look at that pretty closely and figure out that puzzle, really. You know, Texas is a big one, you know, California is a big one. Um, over here on the East Coast, it's not as, you know, prevalent as over there in Texas and, and California, but it's still here, you know. Um, we do have all the heavy metals coming down and so forth, so I guess it really depends on how much of those things come down because heavy metal toxicity will really knock out your immune system down to nothing, okay? Uh, and I'm sure there's more to this mystery that we're going to try to uncover this shit, I'm telling you. You know, uh, this is something I'll never be able to give up in my studies in my life here. Uh, even if I wanted to walk away, I don't think I could. So anyway, so the immune system goes down, and then all these things that you guys are getting, like some guys got helmets, you know, you got these worms, uh, some, some people say they see things in their stool, which is probably tapeworm. Uh, of different forms um, then the skin lesions you know you got your ringworm which isn't a worm it's an actual fungi and other different um, biofilms created by fungi and bacteria I mean I really believe that these things I mean when we look at those things we could probably we have a name for those other things we could say well that's a fungal infection you know like you know use some ketoconazole or albendazole or you know, that's a bacterial infection, you know, use some flagell or, you know, uh, that pneumonia you got is, is from a fungal infection, you know. So, we can call these things by other names. So that means they're not Morgellons. I just want to reiterate on that. Uh, so, it's like, you know, we had the big fire, which is Morgellons. And then we have all these little fires around the Morgellons. And it's like... And I wrote this before, I, it kind of reminds me of somebody, you know, like um, getting small buckets and putting out all the small fires, but not getting to the big fire. You know, the fire truck never comes, you know, it's just like, you know, as soon as the fire spreads and the small little fires around it, you know, we put them out, but the big fire remains. I really believe this is going on, and uh, if we could blame that really to the ignorance of the medical field. I mean, this is... Uh, I would, I would say this is fringe science. This ain't just science. This is fringe science. Yeah. And I'm talking about just the physicality here is fringe science. I'm not even talking about the spiritual uh, implications that I've seen in this, in this damn thing. So I think for us to live a comfortable life, we can probably work on the physicality issues. And as long as we have an understanding of things, um, I know there's a lot of people out there that are just not the kind of person that is interested in the microbiology of things and there's those of us out there that really are and we're going to work as hard as we can to try to get some answers for you but i wanted to really really explain this because those videos even though they're quite technical really explain a lot of the side factions and side effects of the condition and uh, i like this guy's presentations uh, he presents them in a student form. Um, so you can have a basic understanding of it. I mean, he does go into terminology that's a little more advanced, but you don't really have to get, you don't have to write them down and get the gist of that. You get a basic knowledge of some of these things and uh, what they look like, and we can know how to treat these things. Like, I get so many questions about, I have this and I have that. I see this in my stool. And if you really apply um, the microbiology to that, you know, most of that stuff is pretty explainable, okay? Um, we still don't know what exactly is more Jones. Like, I mean, there's a lot of theories out there, you know? And a lot of theories that even I have on what it could be, but none of the theories are actually concrete yet. Like, uh, I hate to say that because there's a lot of good people doing research out there that really say that, hey, this is absolutely what's going on, but when it comes down to the actual black and white of it all, it's so hard to get the proof of it all, yet the theory seems perfect. So anyway, I just wanted to reiterate a little bit uh, on those videos I posted earlier. I believe they're very important. All right, guys, you have a good night.